Hello, hello, hello. All of you beautiful people, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Mm. Lovely cup of tea. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's been more of a chill day. Got the gown going, got the slippers going, got the tea going, so we're vibing. I'm in the middle of shooting two or three videos to put up for you guys, they'll be coming soon. Make sure you subscribe, press the bell notification stuff so that way you know when it's coming. But this is just to break it up, basically. Um, now, as you can tell from the title of the video, the general idea is to basically show a lot of you guys how I managed to get into the modeling industry and how I've started off on like kind of like showing the progress that I go through as well. Um, so a lot of you guys have been asking about this from my Instagram actually. Speaking of, you can follow my Instagram there or somewhere. I'll put it up somewhere, you can follow me. But um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it baby. I just noticed something really quickly. Because of my own negligence, there's something in this whole whole picture that you guys are looking at right now, this whole background, there's something that's changed. We're gonna play a game. It's game time. The first person to comment correctly what it is will get a shout out in the next video. Yeah? Boom, there you go. Uh, you can't say you don't have fun on my channel. Yeah, that's, if anything, that's a reason to like. Actually, stop, go like right now, like right now, subscribe right now, and then come back, we'll carry on the video. Yeah? I'm waiting. Wicked, thank you. Before we get into how you guys can kind of get into it, let's start with where I started. Um, at the time, I would have been living in Nottingham and I was a lot younger now, probably like, maybe like 12, 13, that kind of thing. Um, and at the time, my sisters had their own fashion label, which is really cool, as you can imagine. And so I would kind of grow up in some way around fashion, if you know what I mean. And what always used to happen was they would, uh, they would try them on me because at the time I had, well, to put it frankly, the waist of a six-year-old girl. That's basically how I think I first really actually started seeing fashion, that kind of thing. But yeah, after that, similar to most people that I think are in the industry now, I kind of just did like little bits, little bits here and there, just because I enjoyed it. And apparently I've been a poser from when I was quite young, apparently. <laughs> And I enjoy being in front of a camera, I'll be honest, I really do. Um, it's just fun, it's freeing, uh, it's, it's, what's that word? Empowering. Ooh, yeah. So now, further down the line, much further down the line, living in Bristol, uh, I got into a relationship with a model, which actually was quite interesting. It was a really sick experience. I think a lot of people assume a lot about models, especially female models that they're stuck up, all this kind of stuff. And while obviously, yeah, you know, there's, there's those kind of people everywhere, uh, no, most of us are quite chilled out. I mean, can you can you not tell? God. <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, where was I? Um, yeah, got into a relationship with the model. But yeah, as I said, further down the line now, and I'm living in Bristol, and she messaged me. This would have been summertime, uh, but she messaged me and she just asked me, you know, what what are you up to? I was saying, not really doing anything, uh, but the weather was nice, and so she said to me, I oh, do you want to come come up to the shoot that we're at, uh, but come chat with me, and my friend. As I'm walking up to the location, I quickly realised that this isn't just like a, some kind of small photo shoot like I assumed it was. This is actually what we call a photo meet, right? And essentially, what a photo meet is is there's 20, 30 photographers and maybe like five or six models and they just go ham all over the place they travel through a certain like location through the city so this one that was in Bristol and they just go ham everywhere just shooting um, as you can imagine it's a crazy experience at the time I wasn't planning to do anything but I basically just got dragged in because they were like short on models now this is the point where you guys need to start taking notes because this is where you guys can then create your foundation and basically start just like how I did Wicked. So you guys all got all your pens and your phones and all your, I don't know, what you're going to take your notes on, yeah? Wicked? Wicked? Yeah? Wicked. So Bristol Portraits were the people that ran this photo meet. Now they're a Bristol based community of photographers and models um, and the idea is that it's a completely free, kind of like mutual beneficial type of situation. They constantly actually post on their Instagram saying when they're doing these photo meets. Sometimes they're even themed, so like they had a Halloween one which is kind of crazy, a Purge themed one, um, an Asylum themed one, loads of them. So uh, even if you're not just, even if you're not trying to get into modeling and you just want to get some sick shots of yourself, then 100% hit them up. I'll leave their, their link in the description um, as well as like their page or something like that. As I said, it's completely free. Essentially what it is that like you just go um, to wherever the meet is, you get loads of pictures if you're a model and you can use that for your portfolio, which are all free. Um, or if you're a photographer, you can then go to the photo meets and take a lot of the photos, then you're also getting photos for your own portfolio. And again, that is free, yeah? So that's the idea. Now, this is not the only page that there is. I know there's actually quite a few pages um, of communities all around the UK. I know there's one called Cardiff Shooters. So if you're in Cardiff, you can have a look at that. What 
what I will do for you guys is I will leave like a bit of a list of different Instagram pages that I've found that are kind of like these communities um, oh, throughout the UK. Let's have a tea break, yeah? You guys go and follow all the pages that you need to follow. I've got them in the description. I'm gonna fill up my cup of tea. I'll be back and then I, I'll carry on, yeah? Wicked. A few moments later. Uh, we go. Oh yeah, baby. We back. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. <sighs> Where were we? Yes, yes, that was it. Um, I do want to make sure you guys understand that it's not imperative that you guys use specifically these groups or pages. Um, I just found that it was easier for me to create that web of people because then after I went to a couple of these photo meets, the couple of photographers that I really did enjoy working with and we always end up creating some cool stuff, that way I could then kind of set up meetings or set up photo shoots with them to build on further our portfolios individually or like one-to-one -one, if you know what I mean. So it's a bit more personal for those of you that don't like 30 cameras flashing your face. I can't lie, I didn't even like, it was, it was, it was a very confusing feeling, I can't lie. Uh, mm, yeah. But as I said, the main idea is just that you create a web of photographers that you can get a constant stream of photos from so that you can constantly be building your portfolio. That is the most important thing, the most, like the first thing that you need to actually deal with, building a portfolio and a body of work. Um, so yeah, that's number one. Write that down right now. Do that. Build a body of work. Then the next thing you need to do is the part that I think a lot of people get to but then end up dropping off from. The most important part is consistency. Because once you've started building this web and whilst you're building this web, for me it was over last summer, um, as you would have seen if you've seen my previous video. So as you can imagine, when March came around, that's all I wanted to do. I just had to be in front of a camera. Whether it meant that it was TFP and I wasn't getting paid anything for it, whether it meant that I had to travel wherever to go and shoot, as long as I could build my portfolio. Yes, eventually, I'm actually going to do like more of a detailed video of how I got into all this kind of thing and my whole journey through it. Over the summer, all I did was constantly, constantly shoot. That's all I was doing every single day. As long as I was in front of a camera, I was fine because I knew that these are more and more pictures for me to choose from to put into my portfolio when it comes to actually getting an agency and becoming signed or becoming a signed model. So as I said, you just need to be consistent. I know it's not easy because trust me, I'm not very consistent, as you can probably tell from my YouTube channel. Um, and I'm trying my hardest to be consistent every single day, but don't, don't you know, like kill yourself over it. Don't fight yourself over it. Um, just try to stay in a mode of consistency or at least just try to plan at least like one or two shoots a week. Um, and then by the time a month or two, you'll start to see more and more kind of like stuff coming across. Um, yeah. But now for the fun part, getting signed. Lovely, so now we get into the meat and the gravy. Meat and the gravy? Meat and the beans? What do they call it? The, the bread and the butter? Oh, I can't remember, mate. Um, but this is the main part that most of you guys probably actually clicked on this for. And this is actually probably the, one of the most thickest parts or the most validating parts that I've been through so far. And this is actually the part where, I've literally, where I'm at at the moment. That is becoming a signed model. Um, of course, it is, it is, Easier than people would have thought, but also this is nowhere near the end. This, this is literally just the tip of the iceberg getting signed by your first agency. A lot of the time it will be what's called a mother agency, um, which essentially is kind of like you being self-employed rather than being employed by an agency, if you know what I mean. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can actually do this. Um, a lot of you may be aware of the whole way of emailing all these different agencies, that kind of thing. That is a very valid way, and in fact, a way that most people actually get signed or picked up by agencies. One thing I would say, I feel like it's very much, um, it, it can be soul destroyed at times. If you're not a very confident person, to be constantly sending out all these emails to different places and not being told anything back um, can be quite hard, but that's just what the industry is. If that's not something that you can deal with, I wouldn't recommend this kind of industry for you to go into, and there's a lot of rejection. But um, that's the first way. Look at all your local agencies and just send out loads of emails. Um, another way or the way that I did it was I knew a couple of models from the photo meets. So as I said, this is building the web of not only other photographers, but other models that, that some of them may be signed as well. Um, so I was lucky enough to know a couple of models and they let me know about 25 model management. I went onto Instagram and dropped her a message um, just saying, essentially that uh, I'm a new model. I've been uh, shooting with a couple of your models already and I would love to get the chance to 
uh, you know, try to, to be a part of your agency. But at which point, uh, whenever you get a reply from an agency, they'll ask you to come in for a test shoot. A test shoot is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it literally does what it says on the tin. Um, it is a shoot where they'll bring you into their studio, uh, they'll take up pictures, take your measurements, get you to fill any paperwork if you need to, um, and then it's kind of a way that you can kind of learn a bit more about the agency and uh, kind of like they can learn a bit more about you if you know what I mean. Um, and then yeah, they're normally, it's normally pretty quite short. At times, I will say you may need to take off your shirt because it's also looking at um, physique and that kind of thing as well. After it wraps up, you'll, you'll pretty soonishly know whether you've been accepted into it or not. Um, again, don't get discouraged if you are not the first time. So, like it took me, Jesus, <laughs> so many, so many tries before I actually got signed. Um, so yeah, don't get discouraged. Um, now, a couple of things that I do really want to, you know, make sure that you guys understand before I finish the video. Firstly, payment. There should never be any point, especially um, when you're going to a test or anything like that, there should never be a point where you're having to pay um, any money. Realistically, the only money you really have to pay, or you really should have to pay, um, is uh, for your book when you get to that point, but you don't need to worry about that now. Um, but definitely as soon as you're actually trying to get signed with the agency, you should not have to pay any money at all. So make sure you watch out for that, because there are a lot of scams and it's really dangerous um, to be doing that kind of stuff as well. The last thing I'll really, really, really plead to make sure that you guys do is to read the contract. Before you sign anything, make sure you get a copy of the contract and you get, uh, and make sure they have a copy of the contract as well. Go home, read the contract over a couple of times, more than a couple of times. Um, make sure that you know you got your family reading it, your friends reading it. Just so if anything sticks out to anyone that you might not have seen, they can pick up on it, and then you can go and ask what is going on about this, that kind of thing. Because I've seen a lot of. I've seen and heard of a lot of situations where models are getting messed about and obviously all these horror stories. But make sure you read the contract. Again, if there's any questions or anything like that kind of thing on contracts when it comes to modeling agencies, then drop me a message directly on Instagram or uh, just drop a comment in the comments and then I'll try to either create a video or get back to you in some way, shape or form. Now. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, as I said, this is the place where I'm at when it comes to the modelling. Um, and I've still got a long, long, long way to go. And I would love for you guys to be able to come along the whole journey with me. And I, of course, will be sharing how it's going and how I'm getting into it and how you guys can get into it as well. Um, so, yeah, I hope the video was helpful. <laughs> um, this is my first kind of informational video. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, yeah, good luck. Good luck. Like, the sky's the limit. Realistically, nowadays, you can do anything you want. And if you really want to be a model, there's there's really nothing stopping you. Um, yeah, yeah, smash it. Go achieve your dreams. Do it. Oh my god, how are there no more tea in here? It's actually ridiculous. Oh, this, <laughs> this is actually going to be part of the bloopers, isn't it? This is the bloopers. Actually, yeah, if you watch this, actually, welcome to the bloopers. Enjoy, basically. Do you know that every time I've done this intro, right, I've had to take a sip from this cup of tea. A sip from this cup of tea. That's what I meant to say. And now it's empty. And it was actually a lovely cup of tea. But that's how many times I have to redo this intro. People think that's easy. It's really not. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm actually going to make another cup of tea soon. And it's so hot as well, man. Like, this, the bloopers is basically just me complaining, realistically. Because then, also, this is nothing I need to complain about. I haven't got a trim. It's a dead trim. If anyone's watching this, and you're from Bristol, and you're a barber, um... I'll give you promotions for a trim. Do that, please and thank you. DM me on my Instagram or something. I need a trim. I'm begging you lot. Because realistically, this is not on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to make another cup of tea, turn on this heater, and I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. And I hope I actually did a good job because I'm filming this before I film the rest of the video, which is funny, right? Yeah. Um, lol. Yeah. Like, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, be seeing you around. Take care.